are so excited to be here. I'm going to give you a little background of our journey and our story of how we got involved with OnCourse. We represent the Kaler Center for Teaching Excellence at Texas Christian University. And our main focus is the learner-centered platform and the model. Uh, we have had a lot of growing pains in the last 15 years on campus, specifically administration buy-in. Every component that we've done has definitely been all about improving teaching and learning. So in 2012, after uh, returning from an on-course workshop and Amanda coming back from one as well, and the conference, we decided that we would go ahead and build what's called Student-Centered Active Learning Workshop One. We incorporated all the on-course principles and what we've learned at attending the conference as well as the workshops without really telling the faculty that we were engaging them into student success strategies. And we did not ever use the term assessment. And it worked really well. We had 12 faculty in our first pilot and it expanded and blew up. It was wonderful. It went so great that we decided on campus, there had already been a conversation about a new interdisciplinary building. And because of the 12 faculty engagement and involvement and excitement on campus, we were asked to help design the new learning spaces. What an incredible opportunity, right? I mean, to take all this information, to get rid of a front teaching wall, just so exciting, you know? We, we did that. We designed all the definitions of these new learning spaces, and we opened this new building last fall. Yeah, it was really great. I'll be honest, we did have a carrot for the faculty that came through the first scale workshop one. We didn't have a real strong process of how they were going to be selected. So when they came in and sat down and said, I want to make my class more engaging, we said, hey, we've got this great thing coming up this summer. You want to join us? And we found our 12 faculty. We did offer them an Android tablet and a place in the new building, um, a guaranteed spot in the new building. Yeah. Let me tell you. The word got out, and uh, then we sent Desmond to workshop one and went to another conference, came back, and Desmond, Amanda, and I developed workshop two. And we're, again, we're not talking about openly talking about student engagement strategies, and we're putting all the principles back into this workshop, talking a lot about a teams and how we create teams, et cetera, and not talking about assessment. So what we wanted to do is really to determine, did this make a difference on campus? So Amanda came back from a conference and created what we call a teaching analysis poll, which is offered between weeks three and eight. We worked with all 12 faculty in the first pilot, and we visited their classes both fall and spring. And we asked the students three questions. What helps your learning? What impedes your learning? And what are your suggestions and um, improvements? Every student, 900 focus groups that we spoke to, talked about the active learning and the engagement strategies that help their learning. And that was it. That's all we needed to go. We started work the second round of scale uh, with 15 faculty, and the demand was so high because everybody says, we want to get trained, we want to get trained. So we started making all sorts of mini workshops. And as of today, we've uh, trained 135 faculty on campus. We've given, been given a new full-time person who sits in this new interdisciplinary building who does faculty development every day with the faculty. Again, we got to design. We actually asked for a simulation space before the building went live. They gave us a classroom that we designed, put all the technology in, tested it, got the, the entire community involved from IT to administration to construction, physical plant, student development, everybody's involved. So where are we right now? Well, we are growing leaps and bounds. We have administrator buy-in. Obviously, we helped design this building and the classrooms, the learning spaces. We also are now, every classroom that goes to be reshored or redesigned is taking on our concept, which is the next generation classroom. And we're putting that across campus. It's a great problem to have, to have a lot of demand. And uh, they've been incredible. The, the, it's been a great, great experience for all of us. I have to say that the first workshop one I went to with OnCourse, within the first hour, people were crying. And I was really uncomfortable. <laughs> Immediately, I thought, oh no, 
the, oh, this is touchy-feely. I'm immediately so uncomfortable. But I gained so much from it that I sent Amanda and Desmond and my entire team that are full-time will all go through workshop one and workshop two. It is an incredible foundation. It's everything that we were already doing without really knowing, really, the real strong principles behind it. It's been fantastic. We have a lot of great information on our website, um, some videos. Marketing was really the way that we um, kicked this off, and just word of mouth of faculty. Everybody that comes to our workshops now get no carrot. They just sign up, and we have wait list, because they know it improves learning, and they know our students are different today. Our students are, we're told they're the best and the brightest, because we're a nice private university. But we all know that students that even come in with high scores and great grades still struggle through college. So we have made a difference. And it is heartwarming to know on our bucket list that we've actually hit one of our major goals. That's our story.